Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about generate data table activity. Before going to start this session, we will learn what are the differences between build data table and generate data table. Build data table is used to create a data table on a specified schema, whereas generate data table activity is used to generate a data table with unstructured data. That is the major difference. Now we'll see what is unstructured data. Unstructured data files often includes text, nothing but text files, multimedia content. If you see the example, we're having email messages, word processing documents, videos, photos, audio files, presentation, and many other kind of business documents. This is all called unstructured data. I will show you one example over here. What is unstructured data? If you see my data having name, surname, and age. This is the sample unstructured data, which you may have the text file, which you are having in the text file. Now, what we are going to do by using this text file, we are going to be generating a table and then we are going to write the data into the some other Excel. This is our main agenda. Now, let me go to UiPath Studio. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new sequence by clicking on add sequence. I'm going to give it the name as generate data table and then I'm going to click on create. First of all, I need to read the unstructured data. How can I go ahead and read that data? I'm having text to file over there, right? So to read the text file, I'm going to the activities and I'm going to use read text to file, which we are having under system under file under you are having that. So this we will talk about this one later on, but right now to read the data from the text file, I'm going to use this activity. Let me drag and drop. Now, where is the file that we have, that file name? Let me select browse for file. And in my project that I'm already having unstructured data. Let me select that. Let me click on open. Now, let me go to the properties. I'm going to use major property. If you see the file name, I have used unstructured data and the content where I want to store that content. Let me click on control clay. And then I'm going to say read unstructured data. I'm going to give the name as read unstructured data. Let me click on enter. Now, if you see under variables that I am having with the variable name read unstructured data, variable type is string and the scope is generate underscore data underscore table. Now we have read the data. Now my main agenda of this session is to work with generate data table. How can we generate a data table by using unstructured data? If you see, once I have clicked on the generate, we'll find generate data table under data table. Let me drag and drop this activity onto the panel. Now we'll go for the wizard first. If you see the wizard, I'm having sample input and you can see the options over here, auto detect column types, user first row as the columns, ignore first column, that is the table options and the formatting, what kind of format that what we have. Let me take that same uh, unstructured data over here. Let me paste it in the sample input. Now I'm not going to use auto detect. If it is auto detect, what are the, if you see over here, let me go ahead, let me click on preview. You can see column one, column two, column three. This is the auto preview whenever you are selecting auto detect columns, but you can see it is not detecting any columns over here. Now what I'm going to do, use first row as the column. So what will happen, this all the data it is going to be taking as the first columns, okay? Now if you see the name, surname and the age, and you can find the data in the uh, different format. Now over here, the formatting options, you have to give it. Now, if you see, I'm having column separators like space, tab, new line. I'm going to give the space because of I have given the space over there in between. If someone has given the tab, you can go ahead and you can give the tab. Okay, now let me select this space. And for the new liner, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use new line. Each and every row, I'm going to get it as a new line. And you can see, and I'm going to preview it. You can see that you can get the same thing because of I'm having the space for each and everything. On the new line, I'm going to take it like this. Okay, this is the sample. Okay, don't worry about that. I'm just giving the options over here. Let me click on okay. Now, let me go to the properties once again. You can see over here, I'm having different, different properties. 
for the generate data table one is continue on error whenever you are going to get the error that you are going to work it on this thing but here you can see column separators this is the main important what is the option that we have seen that is the space that we have given by wizard right that is the same thing that we are going to give it csv parsing no it is a false if i am having csv parsing what is the thing i am having comma separated okay you can also work with the comma separated like the files i will show you uh, over here in the wizard once again let me open that if you are having over here comma then you can work on that one with the comma separated over here csv formatting also you can use it okay now let me click on okay once again let me go to the properties and now you will see column sizes if you are having specifies any column size then you are going to be creating a table so you don't have any column sizes you are going to give it and the input what is the input that you are going to you can see the specified the source of the unstructured data where we are having this uh, unstructured data in the read text file right that what is the input that we have that is read unstructured data that i have given and the positions if you have any ocr related then you are going to use the positions right now i don't have any ocr and then if you see the table options that we have already seen right auto detect types true or false use the column headers true or false use rows as a header true or false but i have selected only column header the first row and now once the generating the table now i am going to store in the variable that is by clicking on control k and now i will say generate data table that is the output right so that i will give output generate data table let me click on enter now if you see what will happen it is going to be it is going to be generating an output variable open generate data table with that variable type data table and then you can see the scope over here now once i have read the data from the unstructured data i am going to be creating generating a table from the unstructured data and then i am going to write it by using write range activity i am going to write it into the excel how can i go ahead and do that let me drag and drop excel application scope and now what i am going to do i am select with the some student marks or else i will say uh, i will make a change over here okay just simply students info okay and now i am going to use right range activity onto the panel i am going to say info sheet okay and what is the data table what is the output that we got it from the generate data table is the input for the right range that is output generate data table okay now to stop that what i'm going to do i'm going to use message box as process completed let me drag and drop message box onto the panel and i will say process completed now once again let me explain you what i'm going to do i'm going to read the data unstructured data by using read text file and then i'm going to use generate data table to generate a data table from the unstructured data and then the data table i'm going to write it into the uh, you know sheet by using right range activity by using excel application scope now let me make one more change in the right range i'm going to add headers as a normal uh, as a best practice now let me go ahead let me run the bot now if you see the process has been completed the first row coming as a header and the remaining data were coming as rows so this is how we are going to generate a data table from the unstructured data thank you for watching your path tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day